Fascinating current. <laughs> we, we give you everything we got from the stage and you give it back to us in exponentially and it's just this amazing circuit that we have going with one another. And when we finish those shows, we're wired to the gills. <laughs> We're not going to sleep for four or five hours after that. After and because Jimmy's been doing it for so long, and he, he's such a smart businessman, what we evolved into after those shows, since we're wide awake, is that we travel on to the next city with with some of that energy that you leave us with, and it's somewhat bolstered by the fact that he always had a really nice airplane too. But, <laughs> But we, we, we ride into the next town from wherever it is that we just played. We have these lit up conversations with, with all of that extra energy that you gave us. And we talk about all kinds of silly things. Sometimes it's cool and emotional and sometimes it's idiotic and fueled you more by shots and gummies and that sort of stuff. But, um, but at any rate, it's always fun. And this one particular night, after, after a, a, a particular show, I can't tell you where, where it was because they, they watched together, but I will say Greg Woods is in the top five places we ever played. So, so we're, oh yeah, I call it Greg Woods. Apparently I'm old. Yeah. So we're having this conversation on a plane, going to the next town, whatever the next town is, and we're this particular night we're talking about movies, and and then somebody brought up sequels to movies and how they're almost always not as good as, as what came before, only a couple of exceptions. Sequels are never as good as the original, and, and then we started talking about songs and were there sequels to songs, and and we were racking our brains. I was able to think of one, and I think nobody else had one. We if the, I could only think of one, and and it like movies for the most part, was not as good as the original that it came from. But Jimmy, who's feeling his oats pretty good because he just got worshipped by 25,000 people, <laughs> says, well, well, why don't we write a sequel to a song? I said, okay. <laughs> what song do you want to write a sequel to? He goes, let's write a sequel to Come Monday. kind of a high bar. <laughs> Maybe we pick something lesser to shoot at the first time. But, but it's Jimmy Buffett saying, let's write. So I'm going, like, yeah, yo, yeah, hell yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. We know the people that was written for his lovely wife, Jane, and, and about some of, their, some of their best friends. And so we knew the people in those songs. Who, who better than us are qualified to write a sequel to come Monday? So sure, yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. And we did. And it's not as good as the original. <laughs> but it's not bad. And, and what we used to get started was, was a line from one our, our dear departed fellow coral reefer, Mr. Ralph McDonald, also a phenomenal songwriter. And, yeah. we, and Ralph had many gifts, but one of his greatest gifts was that Ralph said, whatever came to his mind, yeah. always, regardless <laughs> of who it was in front of or what it, how it was received. He, he said what was on his mind. And, and this line that he gave us to start the song came from late night, after one of the shows when we're wired to the gills, me, Ralph, Robert Greenwich, our steel drummer, and Doyle Grissom, our steel guitar player. We went, we went to an all night diner which, which they're harder to find than they used to be, but we went to an all-night diner because we wanted some unhealthy food to clean, to close out the day, you know, and, and, and we got it. And this sweet little waitress that waited on us for the 45 minutes that we were there just pounding calories, she, she made the mistake of asking Ralph McDonald how everything was. <laughs> and Ralph looked at her with that beautiful smile that I'll never forget and said, that chicken died in vain. <laughs> How do you not write that into a song? This is Coastal Carolina. Little roadside restaurant, we artfully complain. Tells the way 
waitress that his chicken died in vain. Most every day goes by according to design. I live this dream, still it seems I have you on my mind from the bottom of my heart. Off the coast of Carolina after one or two false starts. I believe we found our stride. Since the phone booth that first night Years and miles and tears and smiles I, I want to get it right From the bottom of my heart Off the coast of Carolina After one or two false starts I believe we found our stride The walls that won't come down We can decorate or climb Or find some way to get around Cause I'm still on your side From the bottom of my heart Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, guys.